right, I know it's the end of August, but dermatologists say before you put away that swimsuit and start covering up for fall and winter, you should have your skin checked. We have Dr. Glenn Bowen here. He's a dermatologist, and he's going to be talking about, in fact, a way to treat skin cancer that maybe you haven't heard of before. I hadn't heard of this, Dr. Bowen. Mm -hmm. What's it called? Uh, Mohs Micrographic Surgery. So Mohs is M-O-H-S, named after Dr. Frederick Mohs, who developed the technique. And so what is the technique? How, do you, how does it work? Well, the technique is based on the fact that a lot of skin cancers in 3D are shaped like a tree stump. So if you simply excise the tumor, frequently you leave roots in and then it grows back. So Mohs surgery is to remove the tumor, look at it under the microscope, make sure you got the roots out, and then sew it up. So what's the difference from other, you know, traditional therapies? Is it more painful? Is it inpatient, outpatient? How does it work that way? Uh, it's outpatient with a local anesthetic, so I'm talking to the patients as I do the surgery. Huh. It's uh, more tedious, of course, because it takes about 15, 20 minutes to get the tissue prepared so I can look at it under the microscope, and then you make a map of where the roots are, and then once you know where the roots are, you go back and take a little bit more skin and then test it. So you just do it sequentially until the tumor is completely removed and then you can repair it knowing that it's out. Let's talk about skin oh. cancer for a minute and mm -hmm. living in Utah. How mm -hmm. often, unfortunately, are you seeing it? Oh, it's a full-time job for me. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, U Utah has a very high rate of skin cancer because a lot of people look like you. You it's know, true. The genetically the light eyes, are from, the light hair. Yep, yeah, exactly. And the second problem is we're very far south. We're about the same latitude as Rome, Italy, so we're about a me Mediterranean latitude. and then. The third thing is we're on the Colorado Plateau, so we have a high elevation, so there's not as much ozone to filter the ultraviolet rays. What is your advice on the best way to prevent skin cancer? Clothes. Period. Mm -hmm. Just cover up. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Not so sunscreen? Hat and clothes. clothes? Well, the problem is people, I think they view sunscreen as the seat belt. It's really your airbag. Click clothing's your seat belt. So uh, if you just want an example, I love that photograph of the golden spike in 1869. If you look at that photograph, everybody in that picture has a big hat and long sleeve shirts out in the middle of the desert by Corinne. And people used to dress like that. Women too. They would have parasols and hats and people don't dress like that anymore. So when do you need to check with a doctor? I mean, what's the first sign that you might notice something that's different on your body? That yeah, you need great to go question. And and there's really two, two things. One of them is a sore that doesn't heal. So most young people that get skin cancer, they think it's a pimple. Really? But if it doesn't go away after about a month, it's a problem. And, it, and so, it, and then it looks and feels like a pimple? Yep. They're usually little red spots, sometimes bleeding, sometimes not, but little sores on the face that don't heal after about a month ought to be checked. As for the other type of skin cancer called melanoma, which is the most dangerous kind, that's a mole that doesn't belong in the neighborhood. It's an ugly duckling. So if you look at your moles and they all look like each other, they're probably fine. On the other hand, if you have one that's uh, really stands out as different from the other moles on your skin, that's something to be concerned about. How often should you have your skin checked? Every month by yourself. All right. So we ask people to look at their skin once a month, including the palms and the soles. Bob Marley, uh, the reggae singer, died of a melanoma on the sole of his foot. Really? So you can get them in non-sun exposed sites. Most of them are sun exposed sites, but it's really helpful to just check your skin once a month. Are they in different spots for women than men? Is it below the waist? Yes, yeah, so uh, the different skin cancers have different distributions. So the most common skin cancers are face and neck. Okay. Um, melanoma, which is the most dangerous skin cancer, is usually on the torso and in women on the calves. So we don't know why oh, that is, but women get a lot of uh, melanoma on the calves where men don't. Not a spot you would think of checking. I know. Well, and the hard, unfortunately, they're hard places to check. So most melanoma is going to be on your back, and so a lot of them are found by a spouse, and then a lot of them are on the calves in women. So both of them on the posterior part of the body, they're a little bit hard to spot unless you're really looking for them. Well, Nisha can put her leg behind her head, so maybe she can just be like, what's I up? I can. Okay, we're right, good. That's, that's how that's I check. A, that's that's how I a check. selective advantage. <laughs> how I check for the animals. Left, Actually, yeah. I had a doctor check just this week at the end good of summer, you. and if this is something that you are interested in, especially that most surgery program at the University of Utah Healthcare, uh, we'll put their information on your screen. There's the phone number, 801-581-2955. They also have the website, healthcare.utah.edu. We can link you from our website, everybody, abc4.com, and then click on Good Things Utah, and you can visit Dr. Glenn Bowen. Thank you so mm. much. And, yes, and I would you. add that there are most surgeons outside of the university, but we have four at the university, but there are some other 
uh, trained MOS surgeons in the state of Utah and in Idaho. But make sure they are trained with the MOS. You want to make sure they're trained. Yes, right. because, because there are they people may claim doing, to be. That's right. There are okay, people right. that do MOS surgery that aren't trained. Okay. All right, and speaking of covering up, why not cover up in designer clothing that you can get for a great deal? We're going to be talking about a designer clothing swap when we come back.